Hello there, welcome in, how are ya? Have you been here before? Okay, what brings you in here tonight? You're buying a gift? Look at you, you little nifty gifter. Uh, who are you shopping for today? Your best friend. Wow, you're the kind of friend everyone wants to have. That's lovely. Uh, I'm sure I can help you find something perfect today at a great price. We have quite a few deals going on in our store right now, so I'm sure I can help you find the right item and uh, stay within your budget. About how as much were you hoping to spend tonight? Oh, that's a good budget. Yeah, we can easily pick out something great. You could even pick out uh, one large gift and then a couple of small gifts as well. I always say that the best gifts are several wrapped packages stacked on top of each other and tied with one perfect large bow. I found that to be the case. Yeah, oh, I should mention, in fact, we do offer gift wrapping services as well if you need uh, any help in that department. Do you think you might need assistance with that today? Oh, you want to take care of that yourself at home? Yeah, no, say no more. Makes sense. Um, some things can be nicer when we spend the time and do it ourselves. Personally, I found that to be true as well. I'm sure you'll have your own special touches to add. Well, you know, take a look around. I'm here to help. I'm on the clock for a while, so, you know, you've got me all to yourself tonight. I'm happy to make suggestions. It's been kind of a slow one, so. Uh, okay. So this is kind of like unfamiliar territory for you then. Got it. Nope. Say no more. I'm taking this assignment personally. I'm gonna help you out tonight. Uh, I just need to make one quick call. Just give me a second here. Hiya, Jennifer. Yeah, I'm just gonna take some time to help a customer. Are you able to watch the pre-order line right now? Are you sure, Jennifer? You're gonna sit right by the phone in case somebody calls? Are you sure you're not gonna get stuck in a raid like last time? Don't you dip on me, Jennifer. Don't you dip on me like that time four months ago when you stepped away from the phone. It wasn't even your break. You went next door to get mozzarella sticks. Yes, it does matter. Four minutes does matter because four minutes is basically like 50 sales. The math is not important. I just need to make sure you've got the phone covered. Okay, great. Okay, toodles. Jennifer's got it, so I'm all yours. <laughs> Let's start looking for your perfect gift. Now, I've got an entire inventory catalog right here that I can just uh, pull up. But, of course, like I said, take a look around. If there's anything that catches your eye, you just let me know. So, the person you're shopping for I take it they're into video games, collector items, all that. That's why I came in here, right? Yeah, I thought so. Um, do you think your friend might want an updated console controller? We offer many top-of-the-line handheld console controllers, both wired and wireless. Uh, there are advantages and disadvantages to both, of course. Depends on personal preference. Um, we have a couple right here. Um, this particular uh, Xbox wireless controller is one of our most popular sellers. Features air 
ergonomic design. It's got these elastomer grips on the handles, which makes it very comfortable in the hand to hold. Uh, here, why don't you take a closer look at this? So, you've got your uh, left and right shoulder buttons. They're designed for ease of use. And here we have the eight way D pad and two thumbsticks. It's an extremely exceptional way to interact with your favorite games. Since it is wireless, it is powered by a rechargeable battery and has adjustable vibration feedback for longer battery life. Some people uh, look at an Xbox controller like this and think, well, I don't have an Xbox, so this is relevant to me. But that's not the case at all. Controllers like this can be used for PC gaming as well. You can set things up to play your favorite Steam games with this controller as well as your favorite multiplayer online role-playing games. There are so many great online games to play these days. Some even offer uh, free trials, including the award-winning Heavensward expansion up to level 60, with no restrictions on playtime. You can play um, almost any PC game with a controller like this, so it's very practical. Uh, it can even be paired with Android and iOS devices. Oh, also, uh, if this colorway in right, it's also possible for us to do a custom order a controller for you in the colors that you'd like. Uh, get it sent straight to the store. You don't need to worry about shipping. <laughs> we can have it shipped directly here from the supplier. And we call and let you know when it's available for pickup. A lot of uh, items we have here on the floor, if you're looking for a particular colorway variant or limited edition, uh, you just let us know. We can contact our suppliers and see about ordering it in for you. We have access to a pretty expansive network of gaming and toy vendors, so it's much easier for us to get the hard to find items than it is for the average person looking online. So that's a good solid choice if you're looking for a gift. You know, it's very reliable. Um, excellent. We've got excellent reviews of this one. So I'll just put this aside for you and you can think about it. Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? Oh, you know what? I know something you might like. Well, maybe. It's kind of a neat item. Uh, we just got a small shipment of these in, actually. The only three to our store. It's a pretty exclusive item. I don't mind putting it aside for you if you're interested. It's uh, pretty well sought after. The, we have a premium model of... No, hold on, it's under the camera. is a premium model of our Real Arcade Pro 4 fighting stick. What is a fighting stick, you might be wondering. Well, no need to uh, bluster and blunder on. It's not for real fighting. A fighting stick, also sometimes known as an arcade stick, is actually a controller. Or video games. So the most important thing to note about uh, the overall design is the different notes of control. The pads of a handheld controller largely limit 
uh, the range of motion and control that you might have when gaming. An arcade stick like this allows you to use your whole arm or wrist to move joystick. You have a larger range of motion. You'll notice here that this arcade stick is made from uh, extremely high quality parts. It's much more durable than your average controller. What's key to these, uh, consider about these, is that many, if not all fine games, are based on these types of controllers. So, likelihood of a uh, stronger playstyle is I with a controller such as this. I am with an arcade style controller like this can ultimately be more fun as well. Even if only for the sake of novelty and nostalgia. Feel of the buttons. Stick and hand. It like, it just brings us back to arcades and playing games at the mall or the movie theater. I can think back to so many fan memories of late nights, wait between movies to start tossing coins into those arcade machines, enjoying the comfort in beeps and boops, and the bright lights of the game screens. I rarely won or even got very far in those games, but Definitely not uh, top score material, but I sure had fun. There's a certain heightened sense of joy in those moments as well. And a controller like this can recreate those moments right in our very homes. Isn't that magical? Everyone who visits your friend's house and sees a controller will want to try it themselves. The appeal is very evident. So, it's a highly coveted product and for that reason it's uh, highly giftable as well. This item is definitely within your budget, uh, but it's, you know, it's obviously on the higher end scale of things, so Important to keep that in mind. Um, I'll just put it under the camera until we figure out what we want to do. Um, let me take a look at my inventory application, see what else I can pull up that might be of particular interest. Does your friend have any interest in Pokemon? We currently offer quite a few different uh, Pokemon related products and officially licensed Pokemon collaboration items as well. Mark Garner, one of the other employees here, likes to think it's due to his own direct advocacy that we carry such a broad range of Pokemon items here, but between you and me, it's simply not the case. Just last week, but Mark, who by the way, has been working here about four months and six days less than me, was overheard telling a customer that until he arrived on the scene, there was nary a Master Ball nor Pikachu plush to be found, much to consumer dismay. Who overheard him spouting such riffraff? I'm not one to kiss and tell, but I'm not one for kissing much either, so let me just say it was me. Mark doesn't even usually notice him in the same room as him. It's a very Mia Thermopolis kind of situation, if you catch my drift. It's very lives in a refurbished firehouse and hates public speaking kind of situation. It's a very best friend, runs a high school talk show kind of situation. It's not to say that Mark 
eyes actually fully set on me, but he literally has. So, well, there's that. Well, when I overheard these remarks, I could not but laugh. Our store has been leading the forefront for official Pokemon import items directly from Japan for 10 years. It's laughable to think that the popularity could be due to his direct influence. One has to wonder what kind of probable gain there would be to making such comments. Does he think random customers would be impressed by such nonsense? You certainly wouldn't believe something like that. I'm sure you've got that intelligent quality to you. So, really, if anyone is to thank for our store's extremely well-stocked Pokemon sections, it's me. I try to keep a finger on the pulse of the community. I've played all three Pokemon games, in fact. Um, if I may make a suggestion. The Pokemon trading card game is extremely popular these days. We carry a, quite a big selection, um, but it's been finding a resurgence the past couple years due to, well, a lot of factors. <laughs> My opinion, though, is that uh, due largely in part to a lot of people who collected in their youths, revisiting the hobby, get real right back into it. I mean, I know I have, so there's that. We also host tournaments right here in a store. Of course, the actual prizes we offer may not be of any significant monetary value, but the bragging rights go beyond the borders of any farm. We print up very special certificates right here in store, and I write the winner's names on them in Sharpie, which uh, is a permanent marker, by the way. Doesn't get much better than permanent marker. Even if you're a very special gift recipient, uh, doesn't have any interest in playing the game specifically, they could still enjoy uh, the art on the individual cards. It's very beautiful. As well as the thrill of opening the card pack. There's just uh, it's a lot of thrill to opening, you know, the unknown that the individual booster pack offers. Like, will it be chase card, will it be high value in the collector's market, a uh, holo card, or first holo, or perhaps a rainbow V card. Any of these packs could hold the very card you seek, uh, although not all, not all will, of course, so the luck of the find is in the search itself. So the booster packs right here, these are uh, Chilling Rain. We do also offer uh, other ongoing sets as well, but this is the most current new release set, so sure to be a hit. This particular set was uh, released June 18th and features many exciting Pokemon from the Sword and Shield Crown Tundra. Lots of very special, special finds in here. If uh, any of this sounds interesting, um, I do recommend just uh, giving our store a call back. You know, we take pre-orders as well for uh, new releases. So. Back right on the shelf there. Um, yeah, so to pre-order, yes, to pre-order a pack 
all you have to do is simply call us during office hours and is to speak to Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Ruffalo. Jennifer deals with all of our pre-order items. She actually made a big deal about being put on pre-order duty. Jennifer said that an item that is pre-ordered is an item purchased with more care than the average product because it's not an impulse buy. I don't know if I agree with her, but, uh, you know. She makes an interesting point. So, the only thing is, uh, Jennifer only works on Wednesdays and Mondays and Fridays and Tuesdays. So, if you do want to put in a pre-order, uh, you'd have to make sure you call during those days. And she usually works Thursdays as well, but only some of the time she doesn't work Thursdays, so you might have to call back on another day. And she works every other Sunday, usually Saturdays. So, uh, if you don't catch her when you call, someone else will take a note down for her and she call you back. Um, or possibly next time she's in, uh, her usual hours of operation are 9.30 to 10.30, uh, 10.30 to 4 p.m., uh, 4.05 to 4.20, and 5 to 8. So, if you're just looking to put in a pre-order and don't reach her, uh, for whatever reason, you can just leave a message. Um, another option, if your friend has any interest in Pokemon, is one of our many blind box toys. This is a good one right here. So, uh, the thing about blind box toys, um, you can't see what's inside. The packaging is done in such a way that it's impossible to know which one in the line you're gonna receive. Um, even for us employees, like, we don't know either. Uh, the only clue that you get is that the outside shows the, like, whole line. But, uh, other than that, the packaging does not show what's inside at all. <laughs> it's designed such a way that hides that. Um, so, for example, this one is the Terrarium Collection. All of the possible toys inside are here on the outside of the box. These are the possible options of toys you could get, but there really is no way of knowing, so it's very fun to open and see which one is inside. In some blind boxes, certain toys are considered, like, rare, meaning fewer were made, so the chances of finding them are slightly slimmer. Some blind boxes have equal odds of receiving any or all of the toys in the line, and some blind boxes have, like, chase figures or toys. Those have the lowest ads. So inside the box, all figures are foil wrapped. So nobody can open the box and get a sneak peek. <laughs> but you can see on the outside of the box there, all the cute little ones. It's pretty cute. There's a Galarian Ponyta inside there. That's really neat. Lots of good options for you so far. Is uh, anything standing out? Anything kind of catching your eye? Oh, I can show you more. Don't worry. I'll just put that one back there. Let me take a look what else we've got. I know it's, it's hard to 
to make a decision when it's a gift. You want to pick the right thing. Uh, so, these days, uh, Animal Crossing is exceptionally popular. Uh, and I have a very exclusive and special line of toys we just got in. Would you be interested in seeing them? Alright. Uh, we just have some on the display behind me, and then I have some under the counter as well. So, let me just grab one of these to show you. So, um, this one, we have a whole bunch, but, uh, this one's Isabel, and uh, she's probably the most popular character in all of Animal Crossing so far. So she's a good one to show you to start with. These figures are very small. As you can see, the box itself is small, but once the toy is removed from the box, it's even smaller. These are very precious and cute. Uh, a great addition to any gift. Uh, here, let me bring out the whole selection to show you. Um, are you familiar at all with uh, Calico Critters or Sylvanian Families? Those are the same line of toys, but uh, they have different names for their localization. This Animal Crossing line eh, isn't any sort of official collaboration, but in my opinion, due to the size and type of the toy, it seems to be kind of mimicking that style of product. Take a look at how delicate these are. Um, the flocking on the figure adds a sort of like velvety or almost a uh, plush quality to it. Um, instead of hard plastic or even matte edition, the flocking on the figure gives it a lifelike or almost soft element. Very homey, very cozy. You can just imagine the little scenes a person could set up with a few of these in their home, perhaps, and their desk or shelf. Cute in their own, but since they're about uh, two and a half inches in size, you can use any number of different action figures or doll accessories to create little rooms for them or little homes, even just a simple bed and chairs. You could create a little animal crossing scene. It'd be so cute. Some of the characters we have available for purchase, well we have Isabel here. Of course. We've got we've got Vic here. Um Marshall, we've got Lally, the cat, we've got Flurry, um, we've got Dan, he's like a little, he's like a little sheep, everybody loves him, and uh, Tom Nook, over here as well, and I think this is another Marshall, yeah it is, so um, also, we are due to get a second release in this line in the upcoming months, so if you're at all interested, definitely you're going to want to check back in. The next set features many other fan favorites, such as K.K. Slider, um, we've got Timmy and Tommy, Raymond, uh, Chrissy, more. Lots more coming in. So, definitely check back. I'm kind of amazed that we've been able to keep a set for display purposes because these have really been selling, to be honest with you. So, I'll just put these back on the shelf 
until we know exactly like what direction we want to go in. Then we'll have a clearer picture of it. All right, so let me see. Just uh, checking my other inventory selections out. We we also have a large assortment of amiibos that I can show you. Are you interested in seeing those at all? Well, what kind of selection? Um, uh, I think I think we have some Splatoon, some Kirby, right? So. Hold on, let me look at our system here. Yes, okay. So, a lot of our selection is Legend of Zelda amiibos, but we also have a bunch from other games as well. Uh, how about I get them out from under the counter and then you can just have a look at them. Okay, great. Let me just pull those out. a great gift. Um, have you ever used one of these before? Uh, some people just collect them as figures. Uh, they are very cute. So I understand why amiibos get used just as toys basically, but they also have the ability to unlock special uh, in-game features as well, which is why a lot of people go for them. And I have quite a few more here. The Amiibo product line is quite interesting. It was uh, introduced June 10th, 2014. It consists of uh, these types of figurines and some other Amiibo products. They have uh, trading cards, collectibles, uh, there's even actually some plush amiibos as well. They have uh, wireless communications in here and uh, some have storage protocol that connects the toy item or figurine, what have you, to uh, the Wii U the Nintendo 3DS, the Nintendo Switch video game consoles. Got quite a few here, so I want to make sure to show them all to you. These toys use near field communication to interact with uh, supported video game software. So that allows the data to be transferred in and out of the games uh, across multiple platforms. Look at this one, this is a big one. Look at this, this one. It's huge. It's a beast. The first amiibos ever released were uh, Link and uh, Donkey Kong, I believe, from the Super Smash Bros. series. In fact, the majority of the amiibos released in the first two years of these products being on the line were all Super Smash Bros related. Even though all the characters uh, did originate from their original lines, you know, like Meta Knight, you know, Rosalina, Magma, and all them. The original am amiibo lineup it, it consisted of characters that also were in Super Smash Bros as like a playable character. So there are so many cute ones. We've got 
quite a few Legend of Zelda, as I mentioned. We've got some Splatoon ones here. We've got a whole bunch. Uh, probably my favorite is the Kirby Amiibo. It's just so cute. We carry a lot of uh, Kirby items here in the store. Uh, to be honest, it's mainly because I like to see his cute little face every day. It just cheers me right up. It's so... Look at his little face. It's so cheerful. So, is anything sticking out to you, like, particularly? Do you know what you might like to get? Okay. That's a great choice. Okay, so, we'll go with a pack of Pokemon TCG. Doesn't matter which one, I just pick one. Yeah. Okay. A pack of Pokemon TCG. The Flick Animal Crossing figure. Good. Flick Animal Crossing figure. And the Xbox controller. Okay, perfect. here. Alright, let me get you rung up here. Um, just adding these items in. Would you prefer an email receipt or printed receipt? Email is good. Okay, perfect. Can I get your email? Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. And how would you like to pay today? Sure, that works. Let me just get the machine loaded up here. Okay. Yep, you can just tap your card there. Perfect. Yep, everything's good. Alright. Let me just pack these things up for you. Some paper. Please feel free to pop in 